Well, welcome to the uh, Open World Forum uh, 2014 uh, edition. Uh, this morning, I am very happy to welcome uh, Mai Milinkovic, which is uh, the executive director of the Eclipse Foundation. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good morning. Uh, the uh, Eclipse Foundation is um, a, a foundation that ev everybody knows about, and it's been there for a long, uh, long time now. It's been uh, based uh, and founded by uh, IBM in 2001, if I remember. Yep. Uh, what are you doing? doing uh, right now? What kind of pro project are you working on uh, today? Well, we're working on a very large range of things. Uh, and But, you know, most people, when they hear the word Eclipse, they think of our Java IDE. And uh, two of the new uh, projects, areas that, we, that we're working on that I think might be interesting to talk about are cloud-based development tools and the Internet of Things. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let, let's talk about the clouds first, uh, because the uh, the eclipse uh, came before the club was existing. So I suppose that's the old-fashioned uh, way of uh, yeah. using uh, tools. Uh, um, does Does that mean that uh, you you are uh, uh, just porting your tool uh, through the uh, on the on the SaaS or on the software as a service on the on the cloud, or is this something different? No, this is something completely different and very new. Uh, so, frankly, running doing something that looks like an Eclipse IDE running in your browser connected to the cloud it would be a really bad idea. <laughs> so, what we have instead is a number of new projects. Um, Orion is one which uh, is based primarily targeted for JavaScript and HTML developers. So, Orion is the name of the project. Yeah, so Orion is the name of the project and this and uh, so it's very uh, runs on Node.js or a lightweight Java server um, and gives you the ability to code JavaScript uh, through your browser. The other interesting project is called Eclipse Che and uh, that project um, is more focused on providing code for Java uh, or development for Java through your browser and it has a much sort of smarter if you will service uh, server infrastructure um, that does an analysis of your program so you can get proper code completion and the like um, when you're when you're using your tools so does that project have a, any name yeah Che C H E, yeah, Eclipse okay. Che. Okay, yeah. so cloud is one thing. Uh, you mentioned the uh, Internet of Things. Uh, it seems that to me that uh, the Eclipse Foundation uh, was uh, focusing most of his work on, on tools. Does that mean that you're working on tools for the uh, Internet of Things? Actually, um, I mean, we have tools that uh, are of use in the Internet of Things, but when we talk about IoT at Eclipse, it's actually not tools at all. It's uh, um, protocol implementations, it's device gateway frameworks, it's frameworks for targeting uh, vertical markets such as home automation or factory automation. Um, so these are the kinds of soft, this kind of software that you would install and run as a hobbyist on a Raspberry Pi. Of course, in industrial use, it's a different kind of device. Uh, but we're talking about uh, frameworks uh, and implementations that are running on embedded devices. So it, it means for you, Internet of Things is a very new domain that you are going on. D does that mean that you have new partner and you have new uh, uh, people um, coming in that project? Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, Eclipse is a member-based organization and our uh, historical membership have been primarily in the software industry. Uh -huh. But today, if you look at the membership of Eclipse, you'll see companies like Bosch and Deutsche so Telekom. So the industrial and, world. Yes, where Eclipse is very, uh, very active and involved uh, working with industrials uh, and per actually particularly here in Europe uh -huh. and uh, with Tal and you here in France, Airbus and Talas are members and uh, we, we partner with them for a number of different initiatives. Okay, well, uh, Mike Milinkovic, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.